you guys each get one of those. And then you're each gonna get one of these. This one is a bean also. You're gonna water these too, but you're gonna water them when they get dry. Because what happens if you don't water them when they're dry? I'm a, a parent and a big supporter of Farm to School with Wendy and a school board member mm -hmm. and a PTA member. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're here at the Garlic uh, Gardens here at Summersworth Middle School and they're inside of the sanctuary gardens that were planted about 10 years ago. And our first project that we started with Farm to School were these three, three beds that you see behind me being worked on right now. Um, and each year um, we have each student in the school plant a clove of garlic and we harvest that clove of garlic in the following summer. One of the greatest ways that I've made relationships with students at the school is, is working over a garden and that carries over into the classroom. This garlic will help help us for our Philly trip, help our, um, like pay for people that doesn't have the money to pay for it. I am glad to help. We either turn it into powder, a lot of it will turn into garlic powder, and some of it will be sell just like garlic. Last year we raised enough for three students to pay for their trip. I'm thrilled to be out here outside on this beautiful day working the garlic beds. These kids are getting their hands dirty, which is great. They're getting outside, they're learning how to make food for themselves. Um, I think it's a great thing for them to learn to be outside growing their own vegetables and harvesting something that they actually made in the fall is going to be awesome. What we just did today with harvesting that garlic, it's going to sit and dry for a little bit. Nothing's really going to happen to it. We're keep it in a safe place and as it dries, that's called curing. So what you did today will look very different when we come out here in November. What I love about this end product is there's a weight gain. Uh, they plant it uh, in the fall and they don't get to see it until the midsummer that next year. Um, that's in this day and age, in the instant gratification world that we live in, uh, working in gardens reminds us uh, more of a human speed and to slow down a bit and to be more patient. We need to finish papering this bed. Because good things come to those who wait. We'll probably be selling some of our garlic at the um, um, farmer's markets. And there is a traveling um, farmer's market called the Sam Truck that will be going to Bartlett Ave starting this Friday. The head honcho sent us messages on our phone, so. <laughs> Wouldn't leave you alone, huh? No. That's but that's a good. good thing. Yeah. Later into the summer, one of the things that we're gonna sell there is our garlic bulbs. Not all of them, just some of Thank them. Thank you. See if we can make a little money selling them there. The rest of that garlic will save to turn into garlic powder. Everybody's gonna be trying this and we're helping like put all of this stuff around. Ew. It was like super yes. cool. Like they were like only little seeds when I, we first planted them, but now and they're like, they are like, they huge. Yeah. I like how we got to pick them. I like best when we planted the seeds in the garden. I learned that radishes kind of grow above the ground when they're ready. I learned that plants grow slowly, not fast. It's incredibly important for kids and people in general to learn about their place, um, where they live, and I think working in a garden outside, uh, being exposed to the elements and, and the environment that you have in your place, um, slowing yourself down, taking some time to observe the, the beings that are around you in the garden, having some quiet time to socialize and talk with your friends as you're working the garden. And they remember that we worked in the garden together and they remembered that we made something awesome together. What did you learn, my friend? I liked how we got to taste it. You like how we get to taste it all, yeah.